Let's take a live look at DIA this morning. Kylie mentioned those wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. We now, up, no, we now know that 96 flights have been canceled at the airport. More than 300 flights have been delayed. In fact, we just got an update from the FAA that a ground delay will be in effect from 8.30 this morning to 6 o'clock tonight. What does that mean? We reached out to the airport. They said it means they're spacing out flights. They're down to utilizing two of their six runways because of the wind pattern out there at the airport. So if you have a flight to catch, definitely check that flight status at FlyDenver.com. In the meantime, I mentioned I-70 just reopened at Georgetown. That's a camera I've been keeping an eye on throughout the morning. You can see a lot of heavy traffic now that they reopened it. And you can see some difficult driving conditions. So traction laws are into effect in the high country. And frankly, if you don't have to travel up to the mountains today, I wouldn't. We've seen rolling closures along I-70 all morning long. We've seen some of the purples, the reds, the oranges, really all throughout the high country, difficult travel conditions. But if you are one of the brave ones heading out to the airport, if your flight hasn't been canceled, maybe you're taking the A-line. Let's check in with Fox 31's Lisa D'Souza. She's out there this morning. And Lisa, you were saying that they're delaying the A-line a little bit today because of the conditions? They are, Drew. Normally, of course, they make stops every 15 minutes. Now you can expect that to be spread out between every 30 minutes. In fact, if you're going to be taking the A-line at all, RTD says just go ahead and be ready for delays. Make sure you're checking on their app, on their website for the most up-to-date information, especially if you are headed out to the airport. Now, as for these arm crossings, you can see they have the lights going on because we've got a train here about to come through. These arm crossings are coming down at some point today in preparation for for all of that wind. Now we're told at four uh, different spots here along the A line and two different spots along the G line, they're taking down arm crossings. This was supposed to happen earlier this morning, though I spoke with RTD about 30 minutes ago. They say it's been delayed a little bit here at Holly and Smith, though they are still planning to come out before some of that big wind really pushes through uh, to get those crossings down. Really something I have not heard of them doing before, but just really speaks to how powerful of wind gusts we were talking about here. Now, when some of that weather first moved, Moved in here this morning. Uh, it looks like hail or grapple was really blowing around. I want to give you a look here at some of the precipitation we are seeing out here this morning. We had tumbleweeds blowing across the track, so I think we got a little bit of a taste of what we can expect throughout the day. For now, we're live here in Denver. Lisa D'Souza, Fox 31.